Videos have surfaced on social media showing a Russian soldier reportedly catching a Ukrainian FPV drone with his hands and carrying it for a while before it exploded. This footage, recorded by the drone's camera, shows the soldier first trying to evade and flee from the drone before eventually catching it. The video then captures the drone's detonation, ending with the soldier lying motionless on the road. In a comment to Kyiv Post, a Ukrainian aerial scout explained that the drone's detonation board, responsible for triggering the explosion, may sometimes malfunction. However, operators can usually remotely initiate the blast. At another place, Amazing footage shows how Vladimir Putin's fighter from the Ukraine-Russia war saves himself from certain death by throwing his Klashnikov machine gun at an FPV drone aiming to kill him and his comrade. The Russian pair had been repeatedly shooting at the buzzing flyer loaded with explosives as they were ambushed in the open near the front line. They failed to hit the darting drone, which gradually came closer to the soldiers. The Ukrainian remote pilot must have believed he was going for the kill, but in desperation and just one second from death, the Russian servicemen threw his weapon at the drone. This triggered a large explosion and the soldier fell backwards on the ground. But thanks to his quick thinking, he was far enough away from the blast not to suffer serious injury, according to reports. Meanwhile, troops from Ukraine's 92nd Separate Assault Brigade repelled a Russian assault in the Kharkiv region, destroying Russian armored vehicles, including a T-72 tank. According to the report, early in the morning, three armored vehicles, two infantry fighting vehicles, BMP-2s, and one T-72 tank, advanced from Russian territory toward the Ukrainian positions of the 92nd Brigade. Artillery, anti-tank gunners, the Achilles Battalion, specializing in unmanned attack drones, and units from the Assault Brigade's UAV division, along with a fire support company, were involved in repelling the assault. All Russian military equipment was destroyed during the attack, with a report also indicating Russian troop casualties, though exact figures were not specified. Additionally, the 3rd Assault Brigade had earlier released a video showing Ukrainian forces targeting and damaging Russian T-72 and T-80 tanks on the Kharkiv region front line. The Fatum shock unit of the anti-tank battalion carried out the strike. Footage revealed that Russian tanks and supply trucks were hit by Ukrainian FPV drones. With FPVs, five more enemy supply trucks were overturned. Three were skillfully hit while in motion, the report said. A Ukrainian serviceman told Kyiv Post that all targets were struck on a road, suggesting that Ukrainian drone pilots may have taken control of routes connecting the front line to the rear. The soldiers of the 2nd Assault Battalion Medoyid of the 92nd Assault Brigade conducted successful assault operations in the Kharkiv region. The video was released by the battalion's press service. The video shows how two domestic BTR-4E armored personnel carriers, protected by volumetric anti-drone grills, land a group of infantry. It can be seen that the grills had insignia on the top, most likely used for recognition by drones. After the landing, the soldiers began assault operations with the support of bombers. In addition, the footage shows Ukrainian attack aircraft smoking out the enemy from the basement using hand grenades. Militarni recently reported that the brigade's soldiers repelled an attempt by the Russian invaders to attack Ukrainian positions in the Kharkiv region. As a result of successful coordinated combat work, Ukrainian defenders defeated the Russian invaders' armored group. Meanwhile, Ukrainian forces have advanced in the southern Russian Kursk region, new maps show, as Kiev plugs on with cross-border operations and contends with Russian gains in the east. Gains include southwest of the town of Koronevo, said the Institute for the Study of War, ISW, a U.S.-based think tank. Footage geolocated to the Kursk region also indicates Ukraine has advanced east of Koronevo, the Institute evaluated Tuesday. Ukraine is more than a month into its cross-border incursion into Kursk, a push that caught Russia and many international observers by surprise. Thousands of troops, including those armed with Western weapons, crossed the border in the most significant advance into Russian territory since the start of full-scale war nearly two and a half years ago.
прицел 488. Право от основного 0,2. 